Hey guys, T2 out here, and welcome back to the Time for Preparedness channel. In today's video, we are talking about the One Win 50 Degree Top Quilt. So let's start this video off by saying two things. Number one, this product was sent for a honest review. Like I say with all my videos, I do pros, I do cons. Number two, this is a 50 degree bag. It is a 50 degree quilt. Don't expect it to perform like a zero degree bag. So let's get into this video. This is the One Win large 50 degree top quilt in OD green. Now they do have other colors and other sizes available as well as other temperature ratings. This is what it looks like all packed up and it's you know the size of my arm maybe a foot long not very wide and you can even pull it down some more you know and get this thing really compact. If you unbuckle it it has one little Pool, and you can remove it from the stuff sack. Now, I keep saying top quilt as opposed to sleeping bag because this is not a sleeping bag. What's the difference? A sleeping bag is enclosed. It is one tube of fabric. This is also a tube of fabric, but it has an opening. Now, why would you want a top quilt as opposed to a sleeping bag? Well, for people like me who hang in a hammock, a top quilt is so much easier to get in and out of. When getting in a sleeping bag in a hammock, normally I put my feet in, then stand on the ground and have to shimmy my way up. Hold the sleeping bag with my neck, and use my arms, and grab the hammock and then just kind of plop in it. With a top quilt, I don't have to do that. I can put my feet in, I can stand on the ground, get in my hammock like I normally would and toss the rest over me, or what I can do is I can lay in my hammock and then slide my feet into the bottom and then use this and then just cover myself up with the top. Now, if I want out because I have to pee or because I want to eat or because it's time to wake up or whatever, I don't have to shimmy my way out of the sleeping bag. All I have to do is toss one side over, get out, get back in, scoop my feet in and pull this back up. So it is a lot more versatile than a sleeping bag and it's a whole lot easier to get in and out of a hammock than a sleeping bag. So while this is a top quilt, it is a three in one top quilt. The first feature is that it is a top quilt. You do have a dedicated foot box area. You have buttons on the side that go almost all the way down to about your waist, maybe your, your knee thigh area. This is a buckle that goes around a sleeping pad. So you can lay down on a sleeping pad, get this thing in place, and then strap it together. Now, it also features a buckle up top around the neck area. So I can wrap it around my neck, and I can buckle it, and now it's not going anywhere. Now, I know what a lot of people are thinking. You're thinking, man, you have this whole open area on one side. Is that not going to chill you off? Yes, it will. But again, this is a 50 degree bag. This is a summer, early fall bag from my area. So sometimes I sleep hot, sometimes I sleep cold. If I'm cold, all I have to do is just wrap this thing around me and it's going to basically stay closed all night. It might have a little gap, but it's nothing too considerable. If I want it open, I can open it, let it breeze out You know, while I'm sleeping. Oh, I'll get a little chilly, tuck everything back in. So that is the benefits of a top quilt, and usually they're lighter weight than full-blown sleeping bags. Speaking of weight, this top quilt only weighs 2.2 pounds. Again, it is a summertime bag, early fall in this environment, but it's only two pounds. So it can be a great addition to any sleep system, even into the winter months. Now, I said this was a three-in-one. Top quilt was the first. The second is a blanket. Unbutton all your buttons. You have this foot box at the bottom, unbutton. You have the foot box clamp area. All you have to do is string this out, and now you have a blanket. And this blanket is pretty freaking tall. I'm six foot, it's touching the ground, and I have a foot of clearance. So it's pretty freaking tall. As a blanket unfolded, this is 87 inches by 54 inches. So what is that, over four foot wide and over six foot tall? So it's a pretty big blanket. You can lay it out on the ground, let the kids play on it. You can 
wrap your whole self up as a blanket. You can do a whole bunch of things with a basic camping blanket. So that is the second feature of this. The third feature is pretty neat. Right down here in the center, there's these buttons. Unpop them. Put this over your head. Grab the strap that goes around a sleeping pad and strap it down. So now you have like a little poncho, you can put your arms in here, you can take your arms out. You can operate around camp while being warm. I like that. There's a lot of mornings that I go out camping and my sleeping bag is nice, it's warm, it's cozy. I don't want to get out, let alone I don't want to leave the comfort of a nice warm cozy area to go sit in a frozen chair or to go sit on a frozen log before I stoke that fire up and get it all nice and warm. So with this, I can remove it from my sleep system, I can put it on, and I can sit in a chair just like this and stay warm. I can have my arms out and I can be cooking a meal, I can be tending to the fire, I can do whatever while still being warm and protected from the elements. So this does have a DWR, durable water repellent coating on it. Now what that means is it's not waterproof, it is water resistant. So if you spill something on it, if it does get a little wet, it's going to still maintain its heating value. Might not be as efficient, but it's going to be better than nothing. Now, if you want to take it off, simply unstrap it and pull it right here. Now the head holes are in the center. So you can, it's got three head holes. You can button them back up and be ready to use it as a top quilt or as a blanket. So let's button these back up and we're good to go to get it back into top quilt form. Find the bottom and simply button it. You have a few buttons down here at the very bottom. And you have a few more buttons. And a few more buttons. And now you have the dedicated foot box as its entirety. Like I said, this goes about knee high, maybe thigh high, depending on your size. If you want a breeze, you can leave the foot box wide open. You, if it's cold and you don't want the breeze, simply pull these two, pull down the little pegs, and now your foot box is entirely closed. So either open it, close it, open halfway, doesn't matter, you have options. Now when you're talking about lightweight backpacking, equipment, hiking equipment, camping equipment, it is going to be pricey. This one wind 50 degree bag is about $50, which some would say is a little pricey. Some would say is not that bad. Again, summer, early fall by itself, add it to your winter addition as a spare blanket. It's only two pounds, it's not gonna take up that much space. So, so about $50 for this is not too terrible is something that I can use just about year round because it might not be able to be used by itself in the winter, but I can add it onto another kit. Um, as far as car camping goes, or as far as you know, emergency preparedness kits in your car, this is a great addition. It is a sleeping bag that gives you the flexibility and mobility to still be able to use your hands. So it is a great option. What are the cons? Well, it is a little bit pricey for some folks and it's only 50 degrees. Like I said, they do have other options as far as the degrees go, but I was told to get the 50. I used it last night when it was 20 degrees and it sucked. So it was 20 degrees, I was using a 50 degree bag, I was cold, go figure. But that's not on the product. That was on me, my planning and the weatherman. It worked for what it was. And when I woke up this morning, I was able to put it on like a poncho and sit by the fire until the fire warmed me up. The next con is the width of this uh, top quilt. As you can tell, I've got it in a sleeping configuration. I have it buttoned and this would be around my neck. My arm is basically exposed. Now I can tighten it up a little bit, but when I'm sleeping, I'm not going to be able to hold this thing closed the entire time. I would like to see buttons ran down the side. And that way, if you did want it enclosed, you could enclose it. If you wanted it open, you could have it opened. You have buttons going all the way up to your knees 
well, why not extend it further? And I get it, a lot of top quilts are not that way because most people who are using a top quilt have a sleeping pad and so it doesn't matter that their side's getting cold because they're laying on a sleeping pad. So I understand why they did it this way. I just don't like it. As far as height goes though, I love this thing because it is over six foot tall. I'm over six foot tall. And so yes, I do have this open exposed side, but I can scoop down in this thing and stay nice and warm. Yes, you probably don't wanna cover your head up if it's too cold outside, but when you're first getting your warmth, I cover my head up all the time. I'll sleep with this over my head, no big deal. So again, this is the One Wind Large 50 Degree Top Quilt in OD Green. Again, multiple colors available, multiple different temperature ratings available. So go check them out. We are affiliated, so there will be a link in the description below. I do get a small kickback if you do order one. If you are looking for a good hammock, One Wind hammocks are excellent options. 11 foot long, comes with a ridge line, infinite suspension system. You can't ask for much more. So guys, go check out One Wind hammocks, go check out the One Wind top quilt, and hopefully here pretty soon, I will be doing a One Wind under quilt video for you guys to check out. All right, guys, that's all I got for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, go check out the One Wind products. The link will be below. That's all I got. T2 out.